you didn't, he said you didn't have to answer, which is fine. However, in your presentation, you did specifically say if we can get this development agreement approved tonight, and, and then the president's comments were that his intent was that this was to be a, a concept presentation. So communications, uh, you know, so we don't have any, any confusion. What, I mean, I understand in your perfect world, you know, we go to work tomorrow on it, but where are we? Um, yeah, Mr. Carroll, did you had something to say about that question? Right, uh, if I could just uh, echo what I stated in the email 11 hours ago, which is, um, you know, we, we fully recognize that we sent city council members a, a draft to get you something on Friday night, and that discussions and negotiations continued uh, yesterday, and uh, we finalized, we thought we finalized language this morning at about 9 o'clock when I sent out what was labeled the final agreement. Um, and, and then Mr. Cohen called me uh, on my way up to Columbus today and said, hey, we have one other issue that we need to address. Council hasn't seen that yet because I just got back from Columbus. So uh, I would not ask council to act on that this evening uh, at the council meeting later, um, simply because I don't think it's, it's right or fair to ask you to do that. Um, and, and we do have the luxury of time. Uh, so I've communicated to Mr. Cohen, and Mr. Cohen has agreed that uh, mm -hmm. uh, we have, uh, we do want to move forward uh, with all due haste, but um, we certainly don't need to take an action tonight, and he's, I've told him that I wouldn't expect council to do that this evening. Uh, thank you for that clarification. Um, again, we do have the executive session come up as well. Uh, Mayor Royce you had a question. Just to, to augment <clears throat> some of that conversation, uh, and Mr. Fitzgerald's question was, uh, uh, from my perspective this evening, while I'd like to have the conversation here at the table with regards to what we do have, uh, there is the executive session, but I was not expecting council to vote on this this evening. Uh, I would like to, uh, to at least have the conversation around what we do have, have the conversation with the legal team uh, this evening uh, in executive session, and then schedule a session to actually bring this back to council. So just so everyone is aware what to expect this evening at the council meeting. Uh, and you know, and I, I echo that. I mean, I want to get this done as soon as is prudent. Um, you know, this, we've been at this for some time, and, and, and I think we've found um, a good partner. At the same time, I don't want to do anything rash and, um, you, you know, uh, miss something that's important. So um, I'm going to get back to the uh, design aspect of this, if I could. Um, what is your feelings about incorporating um, sustainable design in, in any way, shape, or form in this development? Much of what's available in the market today is very, very energy efficient. Um, you know, we're not at the point right now where we can determine whether we want to go for a lead type of a, uh, that's not particularly important to us, uh, utilizing as efficient uh, materials as we possibly can, being as green as we possibly can, I think is very important, particularly if our market is, um, you know, a very outdoors kind of natural lifestyle, which is which is really kind of the image that we want to play out, given the fact that the Welcome Bike Trail is literally cutting right through the property and, 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 the, and the river is, is a block away. And, and so, uh, you know, I think that that's, as much a marketing question as anything else because the uh, items that are on the market today are incredibly energy efficient. The lighting and the, and the, and the plumbing fixtures that you can buy today, they're almost all uh, very close, if not if not uh, the same as you would use for lead. Thank you. I, my wife's lead uh, certified, and I, I, that is a designation. It's an expensive designation. Um, but I, I do uh, like hearing that there is going to be um, some sustainable design um, incorporated into it. I, I think it's, particularly if you're going to be the one managing long term, uh, you know, if you're looking at young professionals, empty nesters, I think it's going to be to their benefit long term. You know, I like to think that this is going to be a long term project um, for you and for Loveland, and, uh, and I think that would in encourage it as well. Uh, other questions? Uh, Councilwoman Cox. I know you indicated that you're working with three different architectural firms, so you have different ideals there. But would you just clarify what you said about the two sided buildings? They'll have faces on both sides. Is that on all three sides? And I assume it's three sides, there won't be four sides, right? That's correct. Um, 
what, what I believe I mentioned is that the, 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 what, what I would consider the back of this building is, yeah, the, the, the area that faces that way oh, okay. is going to uh, be fully finished. Okay, it's not going to look like the front, obviously, because it's not the front, but it's not going to be, uh, you know, concrete or, or block or anything like that. It'll be, they'll, they'll be finished on, on both sides of all the buildings. And so the other two sides would be the same. That's correct. That's correct. Uh, Vice Mayor Bettner. Thank you. For clarification, the front of the building is going to be along 2nd Street and West Loveland, or it's going to face the inside of the parking lot. Um, okay, the, 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 this face right here, um, which will face East Loveland Avenue, is really going to kind of be the keystone of the building in the sense that most of the traffic I expect to be coming up this way, and that's what we kind of hope to have, like the feature uh, retailer that we would expect to have some some, some nice outdoor uh, seating and 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 uh, you know uh, you know. And, and if it's several, perhaps there's a, there, there's a coffee shop and a restaurant, and so on and so forth. That they, you know, as you go along the uh, railroad tracks, there would be some gathering spaces on that facade. Now, this facade is also very, very vis uh, visible, and will have. Let's see if I can go back and show you some ideas of what we're thinking. One more. Okay. This type of corner feature is what I'm referring to that will be at those two corners, because those are the, the, the pr most prominent corners. One of them I think will be much more attractive to a main retailer just because that's the direction the traffic flows. But depending upon the demand, uh, they could both be major retailers or major restaurants. So um, that the, the front of the building, if you will, is going to be the facade that faces the road, not the facade that faces the parking area in the middle. And that, that will be true of, of, of all the buildings. Uh, while I have you on the floor, um, I do want to answer one other piece. Of, you asked the question about, about uh, the challenges of, of, of this project. And one that I didn't mention that is significant is the size of the site. Okay? It is a small site. And the balance between the amount of retail, the amount of residential that made the project work, and the amount of parking and public spaces is going to be a tremendous challenge for both our civil engineer and our design team. And uh, you know, they've been wrestling with it over the past uh, you know, 30, 40 days, trying to come up with that balance of um, work with the existing zoning and working with the limitations of the existing zoning and also working with the economics of, of, of trying to make this profitable. One of the other struggles with um, infill sites is they're small sites, they're small, they're, they're small projects, if you will. So in order to make a project of this size profitable, you, you have to make it fairly dense. So getting uh, the, the, the minimum amount of retail, the necessary amount of residential, and the parking is going to be a, an enormous challenge. So there'll be, there'll be all apartments and no condos, correct? Correct. Mm -hmm.